Okay. Supply and demand. How markets work and the elasticity of demand, elasticity of income, and so on. So we're going to talk about this. This is a very simple introductory topic in micro. Um, basically done in the principles course, your know, principles of economics course. So the pehli cheez hai, which we are going to talk about is what is a market? Right. What is a market? Group of buyers or sellers jo ki milte hai in order to purchase and sell something. Buyers want to purchase and sellers want to sell something for a particular good or a service, right? So a group of buyers and sellers of a particular good or a service, that is called a market. Market is not a geographical place, right? For example, uh, say, ab aajkal online a lot of things are available online. Now, it's not necessary that online is available in a particular city. It can be available anywhere. लेकिन जहां पे भी बायर्स और सेलर एक साथ आ जाते हैं वो मार्केट बन जाता है वो जगह मार्केट बन जाता है सो आई वांट यू गाइस टू राइट वन लाइन प्लीज राइट अ मार्केट इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ बायर्स एंड सेलर्स अ मार्केट इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ बायर्स एंड सेलर्स ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर गुड और सर्विस ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर गुड और सर्विस सो अ मार्केट दो प्रकार के हैं one is an organized market and other is the less organized market or unorganized market. Less organized market or unorganized market. So ऑर्गेनाइज मार्केट तो भाई ये है कि जो भी बायर्स एंड सेलर्स हैं वो एक स्पेसिफिक टाइम में और स्पेसिफिक जगह मिल रहे हैं ये ऑर्गेनाइज्ड मार्केट है राइट सो बायर्स एंड सेलर्स दे आर मीटिंग एट अ स्पेसिफिक टाइम एंड एट अ स्पेसिफिक प्लेस तो ऑर्गेनाइज्ड मार्केट क्या है ऑर्गेनाइज्ड मार्केट है कि जो बायर्स हैं जो सेलर्स हैं वो एक जगह मिल रहे हैं राइट right? एक स्पेसिफिक टाइम पे मिल रहे हैं मान लीजिए जैसे एग्रीकल्चरल कमोडिटीज का मार्केट है सब्जी मंडी है एक जगह पे एक टाइम पे मिल रहे हैं लोग उधर सॉर्ट ऑफ एक ऑक्शनियर है राइट और वो सेल वो बता रहा है कि इस प्राइस पे बेचना है और इतना बेचना है ऐसा नहीं कि कोई बैठा हुआ है एक ऑक्शनियर बैठा हुआ है बट दैट इंडस्ट्री इज एक्टिंग लाइक एन ऑक्शनियर राइट ना लेकिन अब कोई अगर आइसक्रीम सेलर है फॉर एग्जाम्पल अब आइसक्रीम सेलर्स में ऐसा जरूरी तो नहीं है कि सारे के सारे लोग एक ही जगह पर आएंगे एंड देन दे बी बाइंग अ प्रोडक्ट और सारे के सारे सेलर्स भी एक ही जगह पे आएंगे एंड देन दे बी सेलिंग अ प्रोडक्ट सो आइसक्रीम सेलर्स के केस के अंदर ये कहा गया कि अलग अलग जगह पे लोग हैं अलग अलग टाइम पे लोग आते हैं और बाय करते हैं कोई ऑप्शनियर नहीं है आइसक्रीम सेलर बुक इज जस्ट गिविंग वन एग्जाम्पल आइसक्रीम सेलर इज पोस्टिंग वन प्राइस आपको उस पर खरीदना है तो आप खरीदिए नहीं तो देखिए सो द पॉइंट विच द बुक इज ट्राइंग टू मेक इज ऑर्गेनाइज मार्केट वो है जहाँ पे लोग एक टाइम पर आते हैं एक टाइम पर मिलते हैं सेलर्स और बायर्स एक साथ आते हैं और अपनी चीज़ों को खरीदते और बेचते हैं और जो ऑप्शनियर है वो बताता है कि ये प्राइस है इस प्राइस पर कितना आप बेच या खरीद सकते हैं लेस ऑर्गेनाइज मार्केट के अंदर जो बायर्स और सेलर्स हैं दे आर नॉट मीटिंग एट वन प्लेस और वन टाइम एंड देर इज नो ऑक्शनियर विच इज टेलिंग अबाउट दी प्राइस राइट आई वॉन्ट टू राइट वन टू लाइन प्लीज राइट दैट इन ऑर्गेनाइज मार्केट बायर्स एंड सेलर्स इन ऑर्गेनाइज मार्केट बायर्स एंड सेलर्स मीट एट अ स्पेसिफिक टाइम एंड प्लेस बायर्स एंड सेलर्स they meet at a specific time and place also auctioneer helps setting the prices auctioneer helps in setting the prices and arranging the sales auctioneer helps 
in setting the prices and arranging the sales. Less organized market ke liye ek point likhe. Not at one time and place. Not at one time and place. Not at one time and place means buyers and sellers, they are not meeting at one time and at one place. No auctioneer is calling out the price. No auctioneer is calling out the price. Right. We have to talk a lot about markets, alag -alag tarha ke markets, because just starting with some example or some base. Banane ke liye bata rahi hai. So, dusri cheez hai competition. Competition. So, yaha pe ab unho ne kaha ke competitive market kya hai. Right, competitive market. What is a competitive market? So, competitive market is when goods are being offered for sale, which are exactly the same. No difference. Nahi. Just say, for example, a rickshaw wala market. Right. So, one rickshaw wala and the other rickshaw wala, they are not different from each other. Right. They are not different from each other. And what are they doing is they are they are selling you the same service. There is not much difference in their service. They are selling the completely homogeneous good. And secondly, there are numerous rickshawalas, and there are numerous buyers of these rickshawalas, right? So competitive market में क्या है? जो भी sellers हैं, वो बिल्कुल एक जैसा product बेच रहे हैं. और दूसरी चीज, जो बहुत सारे sellers हैं market में और बहुत सारे buyers हैं market में, right? So a competitive market is right. In a competitive market, goods offered are exactly the same. Goods offered are exactly the same. And large number of buyers and sellers. Large number of buyers and sellers right koi ek individual nahi hai jo ki iske is ek particular uh, good pe ya particular seller ke upar uh, bahut uh, pressure bana sakta hai koi ek single buyer nahi hai ya koi ek single seller nahi aisa nahi ki sirf ek hi rickshaw wala hoga agar ek hi rickshaw wala hoga to uski jo manmani hai wo wo karega या फिर अगर एक ही बायर हो तो वो भी उसकी जो मनमानी है वो वो करेगा लेकिन यहां पर ऐसा नहीं है इन अ परफेक्टली कंपेटिटिव मार्केट देयर आर न्यूमरस बायर्स एंड देयर आर न्यूमरस सेलर्स और जो बायर्स भी और सेलर्स भी दे आर प्राइस टेकर्स दे आर प्राइस टेकर्स इन दिस मार्केट प्राइस टेकर्स कह दिया कि फ्रॉम दिल्ली स्कूल टू विश्वविद्यालय मेट्रो स्टेशन रिक्शा वाला वो चार्ज यू टेन रुपीज राइट नाउ इट कैन सेल एज मेनी पीपल इट कैन सेल दिस सर्विस टू एज मेनी पीपल एज ही लाइक्स राइट एट दिस प्राइस अब देर इज वन इंडस्ट्री विच इज ट्राइंग टू डिक्टेट दैट दिस इज द प्राइस यू कैन सी दैट इंडस्ट्री बट देर इज अ म्यूचुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिटवीन डिफरेंट रिक्शा वाला दैट येस वील बी selling at this price right so if you sell at a higher price than 10 rupees nobody will come to your rickshaw if you sell lower than this price everybody would want to come to your rickshaw but you will not make those profits i'll be talking in detail about this when i'll do the perfect competition class but i'm just giving you some idea about it what's going on so and at this market price buyers can buy all they want and sellers can sell all they want. Please write the slide. At the market price, buyers can buy all they want and sellers can sell all they want. 
buyers can buy all they want and sellers can sell all they want जी अब बात करते हैं देर इज समथिंग विच इज कॉल्ड डिमांड कर राइट सो इसके अंदर दो तीन पॉइंट्स हैं पहला कि ये क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड क्या है What is quantity demanded? Quantity demanded. Quantity demanded is how much you are willing to buy at a given price, right? So the amount of the good that buyers are willing and able to purchase. See that this quantity demanded means the amount of the good that buyers are willing and able to purchase. So you also have to understand one thing. Why I'm making you write all this? ये सब मैं आ सकता हूँ और दस पंद्रह मिनट में करा के जा सकता हूँ. But the idea is that when you are listening to this video, you want to make notes also, right? So I'm giving you the most important point from your chapters. You have to read the chapters definitely alongside. This will help. So once you are done with the video, most of your notes are also made at the same time. so this will be helpful to you when you will reread the chapter and then you can write whatever point is left out or what you think is important but what has not been covered but i don't think i mean most of the things are already covered in the in in the notes but you still have to write this in your own language right so and this will be very helpful in your uh, revision also so first is this quantity demanded the amount of the good that buyers are willing and able to purchase second what is the law of demand sari cheezon ko ek sath equal rakh dete hain ki wo change nahi ho rahi hai cetris pericles agar kisi good ka price badhta hai to uski demand kam hogi theek hai lekin agar cheeze badal jaye जैसे कि इनकम बढ़ जाए तो जरूरी नहीं है कि किसी चीज का प्राइस अगर बढ़ेगा तो उसकी डिमांड कम होगी आपकी इनकम बढ़ गई हो सकता है आप ज्यादा खरीद लें टेस्ट एंड प्रेफरेंसेस चेंज हो जाए आपका टेस्ट डेवलप हो गया है किसी चीज के लिए हालांकि उसका प्राइस बढ़ गया लेकिन तब भी आप ज्यादा खरीद सकते हैं सो so ये जो एजम्पन है ना सेट्रिस पेरिवर्स की दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेट्रिस पेरिवर्स ये वाली एजम्पन इज इंपॉर्टेंट सेट्रिस पेरिवर्स इज दैट keeping everything else constant so cetris paribus that is the other things being equal the quantity demanded of good falls when the price of the good increases the quantity demanded of the good falls and the price of the good increases we bahut hi in short likha raha hu cheezon ko then you have demand schedule डिमांड कर्व जो है वो ग्राफिकल रिलेशनशिप है प्राइस और क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड में डिमांड शेड्यूल इज अ टेबुलर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड एंड द प्राइस राइट सो आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग वन वर्ड हियर टेबुलर रिलेशनशिप यू विल रिमेंबर दिस फ्रॉम दिस ठीक है कोर्स जब भी स्टार्ट होता है तो ऐसा नहीं कि एकदम से बहुत डिफिकल्ट होने लगता है सो इट इज जस्ट द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द कोर्स जस्ट द फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ द इंट्रोडक्टरी माइक्रो सो इट वोट बी दैट डिफिकल्ट मोस्ट ऑफ यू नो वुड नो दिस फ्रॉम योर क्लास ट्वेल्थ एंड सो इट वोट बी दैट डिफिकल्ट बट एज यू मूव डीपर इन टू द कोर्स द कोर्स विल स्टार्ट टेलिंग यू इट्स ओन इंट्रिकेसीज सो यू हैव टू वेट फॉर दैट डिमांड शेड्यूल इज अ टेबुलर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन Uh, the quantity demanded and the price so you form a table uh, that is what the demand schedule is and demand curve you write one one line for each of them huh? it's a graphical relationship between the price of the good and the quantity demanded 
it is a graphical relationship between the price of the good and the quantity demanded. And what is the market demand? मार्केट डिमांड इज मान लीजिए दो इंडिविजुअल्स हैं मार्केट में मैं और आप तो जो मेरी डिमांड है और जो आपकी डिमांड है हम दोनों की डिमांड को ऐड कर दीजिए व्हाट व्हाट डू वी गेट इज द मार्केट डिमांड फिर दो ही इंडिविजुअल्स थे मार्केट में मैं और आप दोनों बायर्स थे जो मेरी डिमांड है हर प्राइस पे जो आपकी डिमांड है प्राइस पे ऐड कर दीजिए दोनों की मार्केट डिमांड आ जाएगी सो इट इज लाइक अ हॉरिजॉन्टल समेशन I just written one one pointer here. You will have to write complete sentences. So, one point is clear. Just the quantity demanded in the market. The quantity demanded in a market is the sum of the quantities demanded. Is the sum of the quantities demanded. by all individuals at each price by all individuals at each price by all individuals at each price does market demand curve does market demand curve is found by adding is found by adding individual demand curves horizontally individual demand curves horizontally right so your demand curve is something like this so you have price here quantity here and the demand curve is somewhat like this right so this becomes the demand curve now the movement along the demand curve is when the price changes right so in case if there is a change in the price that is the movement along the demand curve but if anything other than price is changing for example income for example price of substitutes taste and preferences all of these things in case if they change those are the shifts in the demand curve right so there are many things which can affect the demand so demand is the function of the price of x price of related goods income uh, many other things as well right so if there is a change in price and then you find out what is the change in demand that is the movement along a demand curve and anything else apart from the price which is affecting demand if that changes then that is the shift in the demand curve so that is the shift in the demand curve right so how do you so any change which is going to increase the quantity demanded right so you have shift the demand curve to the right and any change which is going to decrease the quantity demanded that is going to shift the demand curve to the left that is the decrease in demand so well if you look at it if you look at income for example if you look at income for example now well this you know that if there is an increase in income there will be an increase in demand so i just write that increase in income increase in demand 
and vice versa. So there are two things here. One, if the good is a normal good, right? So a normal good is one whose demand increases as income increases. So that is the normal good. Inferior good. Inferior good is one whose demand increase, whose demand increases when income falls, or whose demand falls when income increases. So, for a normal good, there is a positive relationship. And for the inferior good, there is a negative relationship. Right. For a normal good, there is a positive relationship. For the inferior good, there is a negative relationship. What about price of related goods? Price of related goods. Maniji, in case if the two goods are substitutes, for example, tea and coffee. So if the two goods are substitutes, then what will happen? In case of the price of tea will increase, he will say that fine, okay, fine. For me, tea and coffee are both substitutes. I will not consume more of tea. I'll rather consume more of coffee. Right? So... An increase in the price of tea leads to an increase in the price or increase in the demand for coffee. What about if the goods are complements? For example, um, your uh, car and petrol, right? So in case of the price of petrol increases, you will say that fine. If the price of petrol has increased, how can, I, how can I even move my car? So I should not be demanding car. So my, my demand for car will fall. So these are complements, right? So for substitutes, what happened? Del X by del P Y is greater than zero. And for complements, what happened? Del X by del P Y is less than zero. That is, Complements are those in case of the price of Y will increase, demand for X will fall. Substitutes are those when the price of Y will increase, demand for X will increase. Those are complements, right? So, then you have tastes of consumer. So tastes of consumer, that is, a if taste change, ho gaya, for example, then definitely you'll be uh, demanding more of that good, right? And this will lead to an increase in demand for that good. So, for example, uh, you have developed a taste uh, for a particular brand of clothing, right? So even if the price will increase, you will still demand more. Right, so taste of the consumer. But यहाँ पे भी ये कहना बिल्कुल सही नहीं होगा कि even if the price of Zara will increase or demand more, nominal increase हुआ है तो ठीक है. लेकिन बहुत ज़्यादा हो गया then this will not happen. So I'm not getting into that definitely. हाँ लेकिन अगर addicted good है, आप उसके लिए बिल्कुल addicted हो चुके हो और फिर उसके बाद उसका price बढ़ा है तो भी आप definitely उसको ज़्यादा consume करो. But I am not going to go to these intricacies, I am just telling you this thing, so you should have this uh, understanding in your head. Then you have expectations. Right. So, well, book says that if you expect that your income is going to increase tomorrow, right? If you expect that your income is going to increase tomorrow, 
then what you'll be doing is that you'll be saving less today, right? And spend more of the current income. तुम कहोगे ठीक है मेरी इनकम तो अगली बार बढ़ने ही वाली है अगले पीरियड में सो so, मुझे अभी सेव करके क्या जरूरत है मैं अभी ज्यादा से ज्यादा स्पेंड कर रहा हूँ सो योर एक्सपेक्टेशंस दे आल्सो प्ले रोल सो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर द फैक्टर्स व्हिच आई हैव टोल्ड यू दे आर लीडिंग टू इंक्रीज इन डिमांड ऑफ द गुड राइट सो या फिर अगर आपको पता है कि सेल लगने वाली है फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिवाली सेल होती है सो वट हैपन दिवाली जनरली कम्स इन अक्टूबर नवम्बर and you know that the prices of refrigerators are going to fall one because of the season has gone and second is the is diwali is coming so you will say fine i'll rather wait for a period and then only i'll buy it when the prices will fall so if you expect the prices to fall then what will happen is that you can wait for the next period to come and then you you will be increasing your demand so you will be less willing to buy a good at the current price that's what the idea is and then you have number of buyers number of buyers so number of buyers kya hai so if we if the number of buyers would increase right so for a particular uh, brand of clothing in case of the number of buyers are going to increase that more and more people are demanding this then naturally this will lead to an increase in demand and this will also push up the price see law of demand says that when price increases demand falls or in case of demand increases then price also increases right you have to keep this in your head so now the question says question is uh, uh, what what book is trying to say is this okay now suppose uh, government wants to reduce the quantity of smoking demanded so government wants to reduce the quantity of smoking demand right so if the government wants to reduce this quantity of smoking demanded then what can government do this is what uh, this is one of the question which book has given so the first thing which mankyu says he says you shift the demand curve leftward So, if you reduce the quantity demanded, you can shift the demand curve leftward. The question is, the question is, how can you shift the demand curve leftward? How can you shift the demand curve leftward? So, first is public service announcements. It is not in your interest to smoke. right so you should not be smoking and so on so forth mandatory health warnings you must have seen this on many cigarette packets that there are health warnings written over them that you should not be smoking this otherwise it may lead to serious health issues then prohibition of smoking advertising of smoking advertising on television right so you cannot advertise the smoking uh, i still remember there was a time when there was there were a lot of uh, smoking advertisements used to come at the prime time but now you hardly see any then one is the shift in the demand curve then also your q can decrease that is you can assume that if this is the demand curve for smoking you want so 
at this price, this is the quantity which is the market. Now you want the quantity to reduce till Q2, let's say, from Q1 to Q2. So at the given price, if the demand curve shifts leftward, then also your work is done. But the other way is there is an upward, if there is an upward movement in the demand curve, then also it can come uh, to this point and this can happen in case if you increase the price. So the first thing is that you can shift the demand curve leftward and these are the ways that you can shift the demand curve leftward. And, and the second way to reduce the quantity of smoking demanded is uh, by an upward movement along the demand curve. That is, the second point is upward movement along the demand curve. Right? So, for example, you can put up a tax. So if you put up a tax on cigarette, then the price of cigarettes will increase and hence people will be demanding less. Well, this you have already seen, I'm telling you. <clears throat> so you can reduce the demand. So for example, this was the initial demand function which you had. And you want, so for example, also at this price, this much is the quantity demanded. Now you want the quantity demanded to be reduced to let's say Q2, right? So one way is the leftward shift the demand curve. So the demand curve has shifted from D1 to D2. So those are the three points which I have told you. The other way could be that you move from this point to this point. That is an upward movement along the same demand curve. And this also has reduced the quantity demanded. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about supply. Very quickly. Let's talk about supply. So in supply, the first thing is what is quantity supplied? See, quantity supplied is the amount of the good which suppliers uh, are willing and able to sell. This is what quantity supplied is. The amount of the good which suppliers are willing and able to sell. Reside this. The amount of the good that sellers are, are willing and able to sell. Second is law of supply. Second is law of supply. Now law of supply is keeping other things constant. If the price of the commodity will increase, the supply for that commodity will increase. So again, the main assumption is Cetris Paribus. The main assumption is Cetris Paribus. That is, if the price of the commodity will increase, the quantity supplied will increase and vice versa. Right. Then you have supply schedule. Supply schedule is a tabular representation. Right. Supply schedule is a tabular representation between the price of the commodity and the supply and the quantity supplied. That is what the supply schedule is. <clears throat> supply curve. Supply curve is a graphical relationship. Showing the relationship between the quantity supplied and the price of the commodity. That is a graphical relationship here. <clears throat> and the market supply curve 
as in the case of market demand curve, market supply curve is the horizontal summation of the individual supply curves. It is the horizontal summation of individual supply curves. That is what the market supply curve is. So So this is what the supply curve looks like, SS, right? Very quickly, what is, uh, uh, I mean, let, let's talk about the shifts in supply. So if the price of the commodity will change the there is a movement along the supply curve while <clears throat> if the if anything else apart from the price of the commodity will change that will be the shift in the supply curve right so any change that raises the quantity supplied right that is the increase in supply any change that reduces the quantity supplied that is the uh, decrease in supply so what are the things which can affect or which can shift the supply curve? First is input prices. <clears throat> Think about it. When input prices will increase, naturally, what will happen is that uh, the, cost of, uh, the, the cost of production is going to increase. So when cost of production is going to increase, it doesn't remain that profitable for the producers to produce and hence supply will fall. So there is a negative relationship or you should say this will lead to <clears throat> the leftward shift, increase in input prices lead to decrease in supply. <clears throat> or you should rather say supply the good falls. Then you have technology. So what happens is that if the technology improves, right? So if the technology improves, then the cost of production will fall and hence the supply for the commodity will increase. So with a similar amount of the inputs, you can produce more. So supply of the commodity will increase. So maybe in the short term, just while you are buying technology, the cost is increasing, but over the time, the cost of the commodity will fall, right? So technological advances may reduce the firm's cost and hence supply of the commodity will increase. You may write this line, technological advances may reduce the firm's cost and hence increases the supply for the good. Expectations. <clears throat> so if a firm expects that it is going to be supplying the good at a higher price tomorrow, it will rather hold today. It will rather keep the things in stock today and will be selling at a higher price tomorrow. This happens generally. So <clears throat> if a firm expects the price of the good to increase in future, it will, it will put some of its production in stock and supply less to the market. So if I know that supply, the uh, price of commodity is going to be wala hai, to I will होड कर लूँगा आज उसको अपने पास रख लूँगा और कल ज़्यादा सप्लाई करूँगा इंस्टेड ऑफ़ सप्लाइंग मोर टुडे देन यू हैव नंबर ऑफ़ सेलर्स नेचुरल सी बात है कि अगर लेस नंबर ऑफ़ सेलर्स होंगे तो लेस सप्लाई होगी ज़्यादा नंबर ऑफ़ सेलर्स होंगे तो ज़्यादा सप्लाई होगी Less is the number of sellers, less would be the supply, 
more is the number of sellers, more will be the supply, right? So we have seen what is the supply, we have seen what is the demand. Let's look at the equilibrium, that is supply and demand together. equilibrium right that is supply and demand together equilibrium so what is an equilibrium so let me just uh, So you have the demand curve D, you have the supply curve S. This is an equilibrium point, this is the equilibrium price and this is the equilibrium quantity. Right. So the first thing is What is an what is an equilibrium? See, equilibrium wo hai where market price has reached such a level where demand for the commodity is equal to the supply of the commodity, right? Where demand for the commodity is equal to the supply of the commodity. So, equilibrium is a situation in which market price has reached a level where demand for the commodity is equal to the supply for the commodity. An equilibrium price equilibrium price is that price which is going to balance quantity demanded and quantity supplied that is what the equilibrium price is so this price as you guys are looking at it here this price is equating demand and supply so this is what the equilibrium price is then equilibrium quantity equilibrium quantity <clears throat> the quantity supplied and quantity demanded at the equilibrium price that is what the equilibrium quantity is quantity demanded and quantity supplied at the equilibrium uh, at the equilibrium price right that is what the equilibrium quantity is this q star is the equilibrium quantity then you have surplus surplus is what well if you look at it um, so at this price this price let's say p1 this much is quantity demanded this much is quantity supplied right so since supply is more than demand this is the case of surplus quantity supplied is more than quantity demanded so you call this case as excess supply <clears throat> you call this case as excess supply so surplus is that situation in which quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded. What about shortage? Shortage. Let's say at this price P2. This is the quantity supplied and this is the quantity demanded. So demand is more than supply. So that is the reason you have a shortage here. So this is the case of shortage. Right. And this is also called excess demand. So a situation in which quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied. Situation in which quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied. 
Okay. Now, there are several steps in order to find out the change in equilibrium. And while you are analyzing change in equilibrium, so what are those steps? There are three steps while analyzing the change in equilibrium. So the first step is, the first thing which you will have to see is whether this change is affecting demand or supply. This is the first thing, right? Whether this change is affecting demand or supply. The second thing is, once you have found out whether it is affecting demand or supply or both, right? the second thing is that you need to find out whether the thing which you have found out, that is, it, let's say it is affecting demand. So whether this is leading to a leftward shift in demand or a rightward shift in demand, that is what you need to see. Whether the curve shifts leftwards or rightwards. Whether the curve shifts leftwards or rightwards. Right? So you have analyzed whether this change is affecting demand or it is affecting supply or it is affecting both. Second thing is you have analyzed whether this is leading to a leftward shift or a rightward shift in the curve. Right. Third thing, now you have to use the demand and supply diagram to compare the changes in the initial equilibrium and the new equilibrium. So comparison between the initial And the new, right? This is this is telling you how this shift is affecting the equilibrium price and quantity. That is, you have moved from one equilibrium point to the other equilibrium point. So how has this affected uh, the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity in this process? Let us look at the first example. Okay, example one is um, a change, see, we'll, we'll look at three examples. The first example is when there is, an, there is a change in the equilibrium due to the shift in demand. The, there's an another example which says there's a, there's a change in equilibrium due to the shift in supply. And there's an another example that which says there's a change in equilibrium due to the shift in both demand and supply. Let's look at it. So a change in equilibrium due to shift in demand. A change in equilibrium due to shift in demand. So, for example, okay, let me just draw the initial curves. Right. So now supposedly you are talking about the commodity which is ice cream. 
right? Talking about the commodity, which is ice cream. So, and there's a hot weather. So, and this has increased the demand for the ice cream naturally. So, hot weather. Hot weather has increased the demand for the ice creams. So what has happened is that initially you were at this point. Now when there is an increase in demand, demand curve has shifted like this D1, D1 to D2, D2. Equilibrium has shifted from E1 to E2. So there is an increase in quantity demanded. And there's an increase in price. Right. So <clears throat> this is the shift in the demand curve. Achha, one more thing which I want to tell you is <clears throat> that whenever you say a shift in the supply curve, that means the change in supply. And whenever you say a movement along the supply curve, that is the change in quantity supplied. Make this thing very clear in your head. This is the terminology sake. So if you say there is a shift in the supply curve, that is the change in supply. But if you say movement along the supply curve, that is a change in quantity supplied. Similarly, if there is a shift in demand curve, that means change in demand. And if you say movement along the demand curve, that is the change in quantity demanded, right? So this was first example. Let's look at example two. <clears throat> example two. It says what? It says that there is a change in market equilibrium due to change in supply. Due to change in supply. So let us draw the demand and supply curves, initial demand and supply curves. <clears throat> right. Now, supposedly, what has happened is you're talking about ice creams here. So, supposedly, bad weather has destroyed the crop of the sugarcane and sugarcane is an input in the ice cream production. So in case if it has destroyed the crop of the sugarcane, the sugarcane prices will increase, cost of production will increase and hence supply for the commodity will fall. So suppose bad weather, suppose bad weather, <clears throat> destroys the part of sugarcane crop right so what will happen the price of the sugarcane will increase and the sub and the cost of production for sure for ice creams will increase and hence supply for the commodity will fall So of course it will lead to the fall in the quantity quantity 
and the increase in the equilibrium price. Now let's look at the example. Achha, one more thing which I want to tell you that is at the old price if you look at it here at the old price there is an excess demand here also at the old price there is an excess demand right at the old price and the new supply curve so this is the demand and this is the supply here also at the old price at the old price and the new demand curve this is the demand and this is the supply which you have right so at the old price and the new demand and supply curve there is an excess demand in, on both of the cases <clears throat> then you have shifts in both demand and supply that's the last example shifts in both demand and supply. Now supposedly there is a heat wave that is a bad weather and there is a hurricane right so bad weather in both the cases so heat wave is affecting demand and hurricane is affecting the supply so both of them are occurring at the same time. So in that case you also have to look at the relative size of the shifts in demand and supply. So the possible outcome will result on the relative So I have drawn both of these. So I've drawn both the cases, that is relative size of shifts in demand and supply. So in the first case, I'll draw the demand, the sh see, in our example, because of heat wave, demand is shifting to the right. And because of hurricane, supply is shifting to the left. So I'm drawing a huge shift in the demand curve but a less shift in the supply curve so equilibrium has moved from E1 to E2 and equilibrium quantity has increased and prices have increased now, in the next example, we'll draw the demand curve shift lesser from D1, D1 to D2, D2, but the supply curve shift higher, something like this. So you move from E1 to E2. Here the quantity has fallen, but the prices have increased. Right. So this is the way you find out when there is a shift in both demand and supply. So this is what I wanted to do in the first chapter. Thanks.